Is the Federal Reserve covertly bailing out Europe? That's what a former Fed official is saying today in the op-ed pages of the Wall Street Journal. The author is Gerald O'Driscoll, a former Dallas Federal Reserve vice president, now a senior fellow at the Cato Institute. He joins us this morning on a CNBC First. Jerry, good to see you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you're talking specifically about these uh, these swap arrangements that were uh, unveiled a couple of weeks ago. Your point is they're doing it as in the current form as opposed to directly with banks because uh, they're already embarrassed by some of their exposure to those banks, right? Yes. Uh, if you remember going back to 2008-9, they had this program of special lending and they reported the aggregates, but they didn't re want to report the identity of the borrowers and news organizations filed FOIAs and the, they lost in the Supreme Court. So they don't want to have to reveal to whom they're lending. So they lend to the European Central Bank, which then lends to banks and doesn't tell the Fed to whom they're lending. It's a bailout. December 14th, uh, Bernanke's in front of some Republican senators. He says the Fed, yes. in his words, does not have the intention or the authority to bail out Europe. You, you say this, you see this as a direct assault on, the, on that statement? Oh, well, I mean, to ordinary people, it's a bailout. There may be some legalism that Bernanke had in the back of his mind that enabled, he thought enabled him to say that, but it's a bailout. That's all I can say. I wasn't there. I don't know the exact words he spoke to the senators. Uh, it does sound, though, I mean, when you juxtapose the two sentences, the statement that the, there's no authority for a bailout, but then the mm. next week, Mr. Bernanke promised no bailout mm. the size of the swap went to the East to be ballooned by about $52 billion. That almost, it sounds like you're implying or that you're saying that Mr. Bernanke was doing this to provide a bailout for Europe, even though senators said, no, you don't have the authority. I don't know what was in his mind. I can only say that it was reported he told the senators there'd be no bailout, and there is a bailout. It's a bailout. The fact that a swap is not technically a loan, not legally a loan, doesn't mean it is not de facto a loan, economically a loan. The Fed is lending to the ECB, the European Central Bank, and the European Central Bank is lending to commercial banks in Europe. That's a bailout. Even if it's not a contradiction of Bernanke's reported uh, statement, the president himself has said this is Europe's problem. It is Europe's problem to solve. Geithner has said uh, similar things. Uh, it goes against a host of comments from the administration, both inside and outside of the Fed. It certainly does. It is a bailout, and we've been promised no bailout. And that's why I say I think the chairman should go before get the relevant congressional committees and explain either why this isn't a bailout or why he must do it, despite promises not to, one or the other. Are there, are, are there, current, you, are there current Fed officials who feel the way you do? I don't know. I don't know. I know there are Fed officials who in the past have objected to currency intervention, um, both retired and current. And uh, this isn't technically a currency intervention, but is the use of foreign exchange to make loans, to hide them. You know, Greece hid its loans in part by deals with Goldman Sachs using currency swaps. It's well known they can hide transactions, and that's what the Fed is doing. And when you're doing something you're trying to hide, you probably shouldn't be doing it. Gerald, are you why should viewers at home be concerned? Are you concerned that these loans won't be paid back? Because we are, in all fairness, we're, the, the Fed is going to get paid back at an interest rate of about 50 basis points. Yeah, well, it used to be 100 basis point. The, the, the value of the collateral that the European banks are bringing to the ECB is deteriorating. That's been widely reported. And now they're borrowing at cheaper rates. It is not a risk-free adventure for the Fed. The ECB could find itself in a position where it could not pay the swaps back in dollars in a timely fashion. It's not a zero risk. And if the Fed loses money, the taxpayer loses money because all Fed profits minus their operating costs are paid to the U.S. Treasury. But if you so were to put is, a percentage on that risk, the probability of risk, what would that be? You said it's not zero risk. So in your view, what is that risk of not being paid back? Well, since it's never been done before in this massive scale, I, 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 there's no probability I can assign to it. It's not zero. It's probably not high, but it's not zero. And since this is a risk to the taxpayer, I think the Fed should be explaining it in, you know, honestly, straightforwardly. This is why we're, what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. And by the way, this is why we don't think it's a bailout. Well, they've said they're going to look at their communication strategy uh, after the new year. We'll see what happens <laughs> in January. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they need a better communication strategy, that's for sure. I can sense your skepticism in that, in that laugh. No, Jerry, thanks for the time. <laughs> yes. Thank uh, you. Jerry O'Driscoll.